huge surge in the very late stages of the season from CJ, and it really is amazing what they've been able to do over the last few weeks. And there is the Rek'Sai ban once again from CJ Antis, and that does shut down a lot of Chaser's early game kill threat, which even though Jenner hasn't been doing well recently, in fact, now they've lost their last eight consecutive games. Jeez. That is still a bit of still a bit of concern because if Jenner can get rolling early, they definitely and obviously put up more of a fight. So there's the NAR ban again. They may just revert to the same bans in last ban Callista, like they did in the first game in this series. LeBlanc not going to be played by GPM, GBM, surprisingly. So you champion, know, he's shown a lot of proficiency on. Obviously, Coco is very good at that pick as well. And there is the new new. I wonder if they're going to try to force Jinair to ban Callista. Oh, they're going to ban it. OK. I was wondering if maybe they wanted to take it for space, but no. We'll just get rid of that. So what will the final ban for Jinair be? So CJ reverting to the same bans they had on blue side in game one. Meanwhile, so Vladimir Urgot is going to be left up this game by the Jinair Green Wings. I think Hecarim is honestly a pretty tempting ban at this point for Jinair, too. I don't know. I think Shy is scary on a lot of champions right now. Yeah, but two good games on Hecarim. They are going to ban it. Yeah. I think, you know, why, why let him continue that momentum? So CJ has a chance to take the Urgot. They that's do. what they're going to do. And I'd imagine that's probably going to be Space playing that Urgot that has how it's kind of been traditionally here in Korea overall. Not a lot of mid, mostly AD carry Ur Urgots. Are they going to take the Vlad, though? So now they're now they're trying to deny Shy's carry champions. They could take Rumble. Uh, if they don't take Rumble, CJ probably going to aim for Vladimir Urgot Rumble. Yeah. In terms of those carry positions. Do you think they take the Sejuani right here, possibly? I, I think Ambition has shown that he's perfectly comfortable on the Gragas as well. And so that oh, could be a bit dangerous. And there's Nautilus, of course, a flex pick for Jenner. They have played top Nautilus versus CJ in their last meeting. It didn't work out very well for them, but that was also because Nautilus got denied heavily early on in the game. And if Nautilus can scale with the Rod of Ages, he does get quite scary. Well, Ambition going to be taking that Gragas to the jungle, and Shivana locked in this time for CJ. They're going to take it away from Trace, and Shy is going to be playing that one. Another big tank, so it really still does fit in with their plan here. I think if you don't take Shivana in that first round of the draft on Gen Air, you expect it to go over to Shy just to see what Trace has to offer. And Trace recently has been playing Maokai, Nautilus, Rumble, Trundle. We, we know the top lane Rek'Sai is something he plays that's been banned out. It's a good ban against Jyn Air for that reason. Yeah. Because it is a flex pick for them as well. And, of course, Chaser's go to. So if you're Jyn Air, you still don't necessarily know where that Urgot is going. I'm sure Coco is perfectly capable of playing it, even though we do assume it's going to be that AD carry pick. You know, I wonder if maybe we are going to see Trace finally play that top Nautilus, too. What do you think? Well, if they pick the Lulu, probably not. But then again, it could go to GBM. No, okay. it actually could not. It would be top. Or maybe support. Or maybe support. Yeah, could still be a top Nautilus. And we've talked about this in previous weeks, too. Trace plays a ton of top Nautilus in solo queue, but hasn't done it yet in Champions. This could still be a Juggermaw as well. Yep, we don't sure know could. that that's what the last pick is going to be, Kog'Maw certainly fits in very nicely with this composition if you have a top lane Lulu. Vladimir's still open for Coco here, too. It's a good draft from Jyn Air, actually. It's very difficult to discern what oh their boy. picks are going to be. Madlife looking like he may want to lock in the Thresh in this game. Oh, no way. <laughs> I think it's going to be the Thresh. It'd be sick to see Blitzcrank, but with the changes... Probably Vlad Thresh, honestly. I think Vlad Thresh would be great. That's a very good team composition in terms of yep. doing sustained DPS. You have that tankiness, and it's similar to compositions that SK Telecom has run in the past. It seems like you've got a lot of uh, a lot of all-in potential as well, oh, too. Go with the Ziggs, too. Oh, okay. All right, never mind on the all-in part. But if Jyn Air picks a Kog'Ma, they've got a decent way to poke him out, potentially. I'm very curious as to this Ziggs, because of course, a lot of the Ziggs users, we think about Ziggs, we think about players like Dade, who were able to put out fantastic damage in team fights. Yeah. It will be a Sivir, actually, for some more speed on the engage. Okay. Don't want to get caught out with that Kog'Maw early on. So Jenner opting for a more engage-focused composition this time around. 
All right, well, it's Janair's last chance. It's win or go home right now for them. They have to make this composition work in a way that nothing has worked for them in the last eight games now. I really, I really am interested in Coco because he's been consistently debuting these new champions, doing so well on all these picks. It seems like every week we see him, he's got something new to show off. You're in love with the Coco. Huh? I am in love with the Coco. It was so good to see him earlier in the season, and then he kind of got stuck on like two or three champions where he appeared to have a very small pool. Yeah. And then after IEM, CJ mixed things up, and now they seem much more confident in letting Coco play a wide variety of champions here, and they're not going to show off the Vladimir. Instead, they, they're going for what worked in the last game. They've got huge backline damage here between Ziggs and Shivana. Right. Maybe a little AP heavy. That could be a bit of a concern. Well, we'll see, guys. This is it. CJ Entis, a win here. will send them on to face SK Telecom next week for Spawn the Grand Finals. Jinair fighting for survival. Who's going to take it? Time to get in the game and find out. Welcome, perhaps for the last time tonight, to Summoner's Rift, CJ Entis versus the Jin Air Green Wings. Do or die time for Jin Air right now. They must win. Uh, GBM switching up his summoners this game, going for the Ghost instead. I really didn't okay. understand the priority on the Ignite in the last game. Uh, he needs that movement ability to deal the maximum damage to these tanks over the course of a team fight, especially against a composition as tanky as CJ's. They've got a really good setup for Coco to basically run around and maximize his damage in the team fights. And you know, I suppose that even with all those Ziggs nerfs coming through and the nerfs to his wave clear, his his damage in team fights is still quite high. So as long as he has enough crowd control to protect him during these prolonged team fights, he is of course, still one of the champions of the game that can output the most damage. Yeah. Space going with the correct Urgot skin here. Giant enemy crab got every time. It's like we will be seeing standard lanes for the first time in this series as both of our duo lanes will be starting at their bottom side camps for that faster advantage. Meanwhile, Chaser going to get a leash from Trace here. That way. Shy, on the other hand, he perhaps taking the Gromp camp before heading into lane. We'll see what he chooses to do. Hitting that faster level two. Looks like they'll both be going for that. For the quicker stuff. And will they just give that to Ambition? They will. Interesting. All right, so Ambition getting that quick level two off the Krugs. Meanwhile, Captain Jack probably going to get that level two here. Let's see, we've seen people give it to Shay before, but nope. He's going to take it. We've seen Nautiluses take that and then invade and, and cause trouble, yeah. but it's a bit harder to do that against the Gragas, I think. <laughs> Gorilla, and also because there's a dual lane on the bottom yeah. side here, so you're not going to want to walk in like Very you see true. Gorilla do on Nautilus and try and uh, 1v1 their jungler at level 2 when you can get collapsed on so easily. It's too bad. I'd love to see that. It was fun to see Gorilla do that. It was a very it good was, call at the time. It was pretty great. A play from Madlife gets stunned immediately. There's some training. Wow, Madlife has the flash. A hook onto space here. Shay takes way, a lot of damage. Way but too aggressive when they had man. already taken that Gromp. So the level 2 forces Madlife's flash right there. Jeez. As Captain Jack able to chew through that minion wave fast enough to get the level advantage. And then follow up with that hook. Not the end of the world, really, to no, use that really. flash this early on. Um, and they've already healed back up in terms of the wave. And they'll be confident in their ability to poke with this Urgot once he gets a couple levels into that Q. Right. Here he comes still going for Nice it. play. Nice grab onto Jay. There's a knockup Jay. No escape for him at first blood. Goes to Mad Life. Getting bloodthirsty, and that's a way to get to the finals if they want to get there. This is what you do. Wow, so Jin Air pushing all the way nice back gank. into that tier one turret and Ambition after going Krugs into his red buff and then to Raptors just simply walks down into the bottom side and is able to find that gank. Wow. Oh, nice what a play there, oh, Chaser actually. on the Ambition here. He's Ambition. just gonna body slam over the wall. Oh, okay, well they, they don't have their dual lane in bottom so he can't pursue that further. Yeah. 
little bit too unsafe. Sightstone so quick for Mad Life, and what a huge edge that is, not just in vision, but in terms of health and tankiness in lane. Space and Mad Life are just going to crush the spot lane now. Yeah, they got their flash right back too, so. Yep. Chaser, considering he started up in the top side, wasn't able to respond like Ambition was. And you know what? There may have been an assumption there, actually, from Jin Air that Ambition was starting top because they their opposing duo lane didn't get the Krugs. Ah, OK. And so that tricky. That could have tricked them into thinking that Ambition couldn't have been there at that particular timing. I'd have to go back and check that out to make sure. And we're not going to get a replay of that, apparently. So. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how Shy does on this uh, top lane, Shivana as well too. I suppose similar in a lot of ways to Hecarim. He should be able to handle it. Oh, Coco getting poked out of lane, but still keeping up on CS. Space quite tanky already. Not taking hardly any damage at all from that boomerang blade. Captain Jack oh. having to go double Dorn's blade in this lane. Yeah, Space and Mad Life just kind of enjoying a leisurely farming lane now knowing that they can put that pressure on pretty much whenever they want. Meanwhile, Jungle Wars. Oh, Chaser. Can't quite dodge the barrel. Yeah, crab control going over Ambition as well. Very important that he picked that one up so that he knows uh, if anybody's coming for Shy, considering Shy has been playing forward in this lane. And also, you'll notice there's a ward there in lane as well from Trace. To see if M uh, to see if Shy backs off in order to take some jungle camps, and now hmm. where was the Raptor buff? Looks like it was triggered up towards the tri brush. I believe Chaser was spotted too by the yeah. crab before it faded away. So Shy just playing it back a little bit farther. He shouldn't have too much trouble farm farming under turret or close to it anyway. He's he has been bullied early by this by Trace. Well, that'll happen. Yeah, Trace has gone for the double Doran's rings for that little bit of extra punishing power in the early game. And Shivana, of course, having to farm at range with her E, not exactly ideal. So yeah. there is a bit of a CS discrepancy opening up in the top side. But come late game, that Shivana is going to be doing a lot more than the Lulu, and I would be yeah. very worried about CJ's composition. Well, the other thing to keep in mind as well, too, is that uh, as we see Shade take a little bit of damage, is that Shy is going to have the option to go in on these jungle camps and get gold that way, and Trace is not. So it's going to be one of those situations where the, the gold is not going to quite reflect the CS difference. Well, that's this is why Trace is forcing the lane so heavily, though. Yeah, he wants to deny CS so that there isn't an opportunity for Shy. Shy. Oh, Mad Life missing a grab there. Ambition just waddling into lane. Chaser there as well. So ultimate available, Coco was motioning down to that side just to try and turn things around in case his team needed them. Yeah. Now if Shy gets any chance, he should be able to go in and clear some jungle camps quickly because burnout lets you move around a little bit faster, but we'll see if Trace gives him the opportunity. Now, Trace is doing a very good job of turning on the pressure. He went back early to buy that Doran's ring as well. Right. So they're going to come into a point where there is a TP advantage. As, uh, so they may be able to make a good play under the bottom side once Chaser hits level six, especially if they want to make a strong early play on the Dragon. And now this is the time that Shy has to be very worried because he will have difficulty knowing where this Lulu is. And it looks like they're trying to set something up right now. Ooh. TP just came up. For Trace, and if you look at his positioning, he's hiding right next to his pink ward so that he can threaten that TP. Trace is going to teleport back in lane. Meanwhile, action down the bottom lane. Trace may have uh, teleported a little bit too early there. Chaser and Ambition down there. A melee in the bot lane continues. A fight in try as well. Mad Life flashes away or again uses Ignite there. Ambition not able to come into lane. Chaser protecting. Coco just threatening with that ultimate once yeah. again. You know, he may just come down and lob that. I feel like what's the problem there? Flashes from space. Ambition comes in to knock up onto Captain Jack. Sigzo coming in, does a lot of damage. Oh, and Ambition gets the kill off of the hook from Mad Life. Che manages to escape, but another kill for CJ. And space tried to all in the instant he hit six right there. They yep. really wanted to make that play before Captain Jack 
had on the hunt off. So a very precise timing there from CJ as Ambition comes in from the, for the follow-up and Coco is able to deal enough damage to get an assist and to put Captain Jack down in that bottom lane, even though Captain Jack shielded the body slam coming in. So CJ tonight, so on top of their timings. Yeah, they're just Th looking. Their planning is so good. They knew that they would hit level six on Urgot first and used a very narrow window to take out Captain Jack. Yeah, just looking really, really clean. And if this does end up being a 3-0, I think we may be in for a much closer series against SK Telecom than we maybe thought we were in I for. I agree, I agree. CJ looking quite strong right now. That series yeah. shaping up to be extremely exciting, wow. especially with the number of contested picks between those two teams right now. Should be very, very cool. Well, back to a little bit of laning for now. Yeah, Chaser's still not six either. Yeah. No dragons yet in this game, too. Ambition, Ambition six coinciding also. So they knew they had this very subtle level advantage yeah. and were able to punish it with a great setup and a great plan. Very impressive. Space already with that Monomune in the bot lane continuing to stack the tier. Farming quite well. Meanwhile, a little bit of action in the top lane. Shy taking the worst end of that, but shouldn't have any trouble getting back and recalling. Yep, that's what he'll do. Shy's actually managed to maintain that gap as well, so he's not falling further behind now. Yeah. Has that Spectre's Cowl, is going to have a TP edge. Oh, checking blue, but it's already gone. In fact, it's on GBM. I <laughs> think you would notice that, huh? <laughs> well, okay. Questionable. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> you see the G you see the blue buff on the other mid laner. He I may wonder have, if they have the blue buff. He may have just tried to lob that just before GBM came into view. <laughs> Could have been. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Yeah. It's kind of funny to think about the alternatives. Not so funny for Coco, I guess. But it's a pretty short cooldown ult, so uh -oh. it's not the biggest deal. Nope, GBM bounced around a bit. That could have been very bad for Jinair. And Jinair trying to set up for a dragon. Teleports up for Shy, but not for Trace quite yet. So this does give CJ a bit of time to get ready for it. Yeah, CJ doesn't Ally. have control over the Moving up, there's a grab. Tried to anticipate a move from Captain Jack. Didn't happen, though. Chaser's hiding in that brush. Yep. Oh, they're going to grab space. There we go. There's a play. There's a box. Space gets blown up. Wow. That was an incredible amount of damage. Ambition didn't even get a chance to come close. Top laner's battling it out, but Shy has to go on the run there. Yeah, Trace actually trying to all in Shy wow. just to prevent him from TPing down into the bottom side. Yeah. And we saw some great chaining of CC between uh, from Jinair. Space, he's not that tanky when he's not, not able to get his ultimate off and when he doesn't have that frozen heart. So they abused that early on. Now they're gonna see if they can turn that into a dragon. A lot of damage for that Ziggsalt. Mad Life grabs Che and pulls him out. They're trying to keep harassing. Here comes a teleport. Shy there as well. Coco, a cupcake for now as GBM turns around. Shy backing away. I don't think they can do this dragon anymore. CJ has done enough now. poke damage. They have yeah. the Gragas early on. They have, of course, the Ziggs as well to outrange their opponents. Well, and so they're able, too. yeah, they're able to turn that one around and waste Trace's TP. Trace came in, but he didn't have his ultimate to actually make too big of an impact in that engagement. Yeah, Shy nice. now picking up even more MR, and this is where I think things are really going to start to turn around in CJ's favor. Shy going for a lot of MR before he even goes for the skirmisher saber this time. Seems like that dragon was pretty crucial for Jin Air. Wow, and it just blows my mind just how completely perfectly CJ is playing right now. You know, it's like, oh, well, we happen to lose space. Let's just go and harass just the right amount to keep them off a dragon and stay safe. Yeah, they, I think one word that we can look for in this series for CJ, and this has been precise, if we yeah. look at the very narrow timings they've actually been able to hit, it's pretty impressive. It blows my mind that we're saying all this stuff, too, about CJ. But, I mean, the truth is right in front of you. They certainly are doing well tonight. For the last month or so now, too. Yeah, they've been on they've been on fire. Yeah. They, I, mean, I mean, they've won just like Gennaro's lost their last eight games in a row. CJ is down an eight-game win streak. Yeah, I, well, when you think about it, I am 
was such an embarrassment for this team, even with kind of CD, CJ's mediocre performance at that point anyway, that I think it was just a big wake-up call and it really kind of lit a fire under CJ. And it's been showing off. These guys are they are a brand new team coming out of IEM. Yeah, it's, their individual performances have improved. I think their strategy and teamwork has improved as well. They yeah. really went back and took a look, I think, at their champion pools yeah. after that loss and revised how they were going to play together as oh, a team. Here we go. And we see this. Some action. Yep, all in happening. Space able to get the ult off. Jay trying to escape here. Mad Life waiting for an opportunity. Ambition getting a bit harassed, waiting for an opportunity to use his ult. A lot of opportunities apparently happening, but none of them panning out for CJ. Meanwhile, Shy is just going to start proxy farming up in the top side of the map, That's trying to relieve the pressure onto his turret. No teleports up, but CJ having an HP advantage at the very least. Of course, GBM not able to affect that engagement. Meanwhile, Coco putting down the DPS. Well, they're coming down for Dragon. Now, Space doesn't have a whole lot of mana. Shy a little bit ahead of Trace. Shy doesn't have dragon, his ult, though. Looks like CJ is just going to get this dragon. Yeah, they will. Che trying to come in onto space. Dragon's still alive. They could kill it easily. Che, very low. There's a dragon going to CJ now. Can they get kills out of it? They do get Che. Jin Air chasing, though. GBM, a lot of mana, a lot of health, here a lot of damage Shy. coming out of him. But here comes Shy. And oh, man, wild growth. How long can it save him? Shy in a little bit of trouble now. Trying to back off, and he will get taken down by Captain Jack. But grabbed by Mad Life, and that's a kill for Coco. So trading it, two kills there. They're going to give up Shy, but they will get Captain Jack, Che, and the Dragon. Wow. Another big win for CJ. Seriously. Using the range on their abilities just to punish Jin Air on that pursuit. If we look right here, Che goes in a bit early. Captain Jack tries to get some ricochets off, but gets smacked around by Gragas a little bit. GBM trying to get in range, but CJ just dancing. Ooh, so close. On the very edge. Now watch Mad Life here. As they come in to kill Shy, Mad Life waiting in the brush. Great use of that wow. pink ward. And then ja right the Jack, Jack gets too. bounced and then killed by a single mine in that minefield. So Mad Life with the turnaround. And they're just playing very well with the range on Jin Air's abilities and punishing yeah. them with a bit of kiting and some nice poke. Well, the crowd control from CJ, the chaining of that has just been incredible this game. I'm very impressed with Coco Ziggs. You know, I I expected CJ to come into this with an edge. With the way CJ's been playing, with the way Jenner's been uh -oh. playing, and Jack has to ult to try to get away, Mad Life misses the grab. But, you know, with the way CJ's, CJ's been playing, you expect him to be good, but I didn't expect him to be this good. Uh, Jenner may have found a point of weakness right now is they are hammering away on this mid lane turret but trace won't get it yet can't quite finish that one off even with the shield from the whimsy and they have to be worried about shy who yeah. continues to pressure up in this top side he's caught up uh, in farm to trace as well even exceeded him a little bit so that early lead that Janair had in the top lane is completely gone now yeah also slowly dealing damage to this turret just with the minion waves and shy starting to invade right now yep Taking away these crowds, not getting that extra gold, but still, yeah, his tankiness is going to vastly outscale Lulu in the late game. Well, it seems like at this point, when he gets that uh, Cindermon champ, it, it's just going to be a, a nice big boost here, ulting into the Baron pit. Gracefully soaring away from the enemy jungle. Tried to take that red buff, but realized yeah. he was getting a bit too greedy. And there's the wave clear coming in from Ziggs again. Works pretty well, doesn't it? You know, they call Shivana's ult Dragon's Descent, but it should be more like Dragon's Hop. <laughs> Dragon Hop. She doesn't really descend from anywhere. She just sort of, you know, jumps a little bit. Yeah, that's what Pantheon's ult is. That is a dissension. Yeah, that's true. Man's Descent. That sounds very grim, though. That's, <laughs> that's something else. Yeah, that's, yeah, no kidding. That's what happens. Wasn't uh, that a book written in the Renaissance or something? Who knows? A nice grab on Jay brought into the box. He could be in trouble here. Ambition coming down, locking up Captain Jack in the back while they work on Shay. Space decided to ult him. Here comes Chaser. An ult. Can Captain Jack clean this one up? Shy teleporting down, and it looks like Space is getting low. Trace there as well. Can they escape here? Ambition, not a lot of health left remaining to grab onto Trace. Goodbye, Lulu. Here comes Coco. Can he make anything happen? There's a slow on to Captain Jack, and another kill for Shy and CJ not losing anybody yet. GBM slithering away to the mid lane, not able to do anything in that fight. And this, 
man, this Ziggs pick just coming out of nowhere and being so good for CJ. Well, he's been able series. to affect all of these bottom lane skirmishes. Yeah, They've has. had this great plan of all inning with this Urgot once he gets tanky and then following wow. up with the Ziggs ultimate. And couple there's kills, just, couple turrets. it's so hard for Jin Air to do anything against that because GBM, he's got ghosts, but he's not ghosting very aggressively into the bottom side. Yeah, a couple kills and a couple turrets in exchange for one mid lane turret, right? Pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, big gold wow. lead. I'm, I'm just blown away by just how good CJ is looking. And it's it's not even that Jin Air is making a lot of mistakes, because they're not. They're really not making a lot of mistakes. They just are being straight up outplayed. Yeah, and C CJ is snowballing their advantage extremely well. Yeah. Just shows you the power of giant enemy crab god. If you're gonna play this champ. All this right, they're gonna try oh, and get on to shy. shy. Uh oh, can he get out? Yep. Wow, that's a pretty much a uh, max range ult there. I, that's a uh, that's a wide wall to jump over. Yeah, he's not gonna save his turret, however. So Jin Air yeah. will be able to close this gold gap just a little bit. Not gonna it's try quite a big and, gold gap though. Yeah, not gonna try and deal with that tower when there's a. Sivir that could ultimate chase him down the lane when he doesn't have any movement summoners and his ult is down. But CJ happy just to trade out for mid. A lot of pressure onto this mid lane here. And playing it safe because they know Jin Air can collapse. And that's what Che tried to make happen. Wow, G GBM there did a very good job keeping the turret yeah. alive at the very least. Had to use his ghost to do it though. Well, there was a bit of danger from maybe a good flank from Jin Air and CJ just playing that a bit more cautiously. Dragging up in about 35 seconds now. And CJ, if you can take it. All in all, Jin Air, I believe, has still only gotten one dragon in the last four games between these two teams. Yeah, five now. This is yeah. game number five. And yes, that if is. If they shut him out, yeah. Very true. If they shut him out, it'll be five. And Shy just split pushing like a monster right now, starting to really take that CS lead. He's got great deep wards. Should he want to take some of these camps? He's literally a monster, too. He's actually like a half dragon, half person. It's quite monstrous. Has that. Cinder Hulk, so he does have yep. some AoE to move in on these minions. He's going to try and take the blue buff right now. Oh, here we go. Chaser coming in on the Mad Life Ambition with the reverse body slam. There we go. Che onto space. They lock him up. Space gets blown up. Chaser wild growth onto him. Mad Life could be in a bit of trouble here as well. Coco and Ambition trying to poke his best they can. Here comes Shy over the wall. Oh onto my. Captain Jack and Trace. Look at that ult from Shy. He's all over Jin Air, and Jin Air immediately on the retreat, and even without their AD carry, CJ winning this fight. Jin Air on their run, and this dragon could very well go to CJ now. Well, they thought they may have had an opportunity without Shy right there, but he wasn't doing the blue buff. He was already coming down, ready yep. to ult over the wall to that dragon pit. And Coco again just nailing these satchel charges to keep the enemy CC'd, and now. There's going to be a smite. Ambition takes that <laughs> one away from GBM as they That's roll the in towards the dragon and take it out. So space, one thing Jin Air has been doing well is controlling space's ability to use that hyperkinetic position reverser. True. And they're killing him before he can get super tanky. But there's so many other damage threats from CJ Entis right now. Yeah, and just the CC as well. I mean, yeah, they might blow up space, but then their team's gonna be bouncing around until they die after that, pretty much. Uh, GBM is going for a relatively low damage build again with that Rylize, just yeah. trying to kite out these top laners without mobility summoners. Well, now Baron the point of contention here. Warding starting to happen from both sides. And Captain Jack needs to be careful here. Can always ult away if he needs to, I suppose, though. CJ, look at that, 6,000 gold ahead. And this team is so monstrous. Yep, teleport almost up for Shy as well too, so if they need him up in the top lane, they'll probably have him soon. Captain Jack is just irrelevant in this game. Two core items completed already on his face. Yeah. Nothing going Jack's way, and everyone just getting tankier and tankier. Frozen Heart done, Randuin's nearing completion on Shy. I mean, Jack Sivir is not going to do damage, and GBM, go, again, going for that Rylize. When we have Coco completing already his death cap, this is really quite problematic.
for Jin Air. They're in such a power trough right now, purely in terms of their itemization versus their opponents. Well, Ambition wants his red buff, but Jin Air wants to deliver his death to him. Trying to ult. Nice ult. They catch Ambition and Mad Life. Yeah, Coco there as well, too. Shy coming in with his ultimate. Mad Life drops out the box. Trace catching up now, and here comes Space from behind. And that's a lot of damage. Six ult does work, and Space trying to get some kills now. Shy chasing people away. Oh, Trace may have Coco here. Mad Life looking for an opportunity, not quite getting it because he knows Coco couldn't escape. And that red buff in the end will still go to CJ. It was all about the red buff, you know? Well, I, coming into that one, they thought maybe they could set up a pick right there. They tried. But just such a fast reaction from CJ. Well, Shy's counter engages have really been yes. instrumental in the last Shai's couple fights great. now. Yeah, there's another turret. Four to two now. CJ continues to extend that gold lead up to about 7,000 now. By the way, Mad Life has 100% kill contribution so far. Yep. And Coco back, man. just <gasps> bosses. Oh, it's a lot of damage. One more bouncing bomb. <laughs> it's not enough. It was scary, though. Coco didn't feel like flashing for that one for style points. I guess points. so. Well, he didn't want to die to Captain <laughs> Jack. That's, that's why. Uh-oh. Trace in a little bit of trouble here. Does he have his flash? He does. He may have to use that to go over the wall, but he knows Shy could just chase him with his ultimate. Yeah, it looks like he'll be able to get out with Whimsy, but here comes giant enemy crab god. <laughs> oh, hard to catch Lulu. Pretty quick. Got to go fast. Well, meanwhile, CJ's like, all right, I guess we'll just take the entirety of your jungle. Oh, man. Well. What can you say? CJ again, they've reached that point where they really have more or less complete map control. Jin Air bottled up near their own base. Just amazing that CJ has been able to do so much with these very small advantages or very narrow timing windows. Yeah, this is really Trace, looking. Trace going for the Magi's here, just out of desperation, <laughs> honestly. Thinking might that as well. There's one way they might be able to come back into this game, but Ambition already picking up that Aegis because, of course, this Sivir just hasn't been much of a threat so far. Yeah. Finally has Infinity Edge done, still working on that static shiv. Ambition's here to give Chaser a hard time. It's so annoying. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ambition's Gragas has been very good, and as more mid lane champions become jungle champions, I think that's good for, that's good for <laughs> that's him, isn't it? That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> that's very true. Yep. Just waiting for that Cho'Gath now, I guess. <laughs> Jungle Ziggs. He's got the Jungle Karthus somewhere, yeah. perhaps, waiting to be used. It's out there. Jungle Karthus is out there. I played Jungle Karthus a lot in Earth. It was pretty good until everyone was jerks and started buying Banshee's Veils. <laughs> Ruining my fun. The bane of the Karthai. Yep. Well, split push going on, and there's not really a good answer to it right now, considering Shy being so tanky. Actually finished the Warmogs cool. instead of the Randuin's Omen, simply, I think, because there's not a lot of threat from Captain Jack right here, and that extra yeah. HP going to serve him very well with the resists he already has when there's no Last Whisper and there's no Void Staff on the enemy team. A lot of damage onto that top turret. That wolf's so lonely, don't worry. You'll go to meet your other wolf soon. <laughs> well, how can he be lonely, though? He's got two heads. He can yeah, just he have a conversation with himself. He can always have a chatty time. Yeah. I hope he doesn't hate his other wolf head, though. I hope oh, that would be I awkward. I hope they're friends. Yeah. He's like, I'm not talking to you. It's not going to work out. And Janair just has no way to, to defend these turrets. The no, zone don't. control from CJ with the relatively short range of Sivir and Cassiopeia it just doesn't make it easy at all. How about a third dragon? It's gonna come up in 10 seconds. CJ in prime position to take that as well. They're gonna recall and probably head over to it. Good wards too from CJ, all series long. Yeah, they've consistently had deep wards at both sides of the jungle. Yep. Jin Air hasn't been up to the task in terms of clearing them out very actively. Shine deciding not to recall. I think that's a good idea too. He's got he's got items. He doesn't need to go back right now. He needs to be there for his team when they try this dragon. Yeah, just keep that pressure up. Yep. Shove it all the way back to that inhibitor turret so they push have it real good. Push it push it real good. That's yep. right. Push it. 
<laughs> so Shivana does. Pushes it real good. And CJ taking their third dragon now. Slowly. There we go. And another another game without any dragons for Jynair, it's looking like. What a rough end to a season from Jynair. I mean, yeah. They're probably not going to be taking this one at this stage of the game. And just looking at their season, losing nine consecutive games to end things out is a pretty rough spot to be in. They just have looked confused in the current meta, unable to adapt to what's been thrown at them. And CJ absolutely dominating this series. Well, we've seen it many times before. As a desperation fight comes in, Shy immediately counter engages. Captain Jack nearly blown up instantly. Shy is so tanky, and he's just going to take a ride out on the lantern. Chaser very low. Shy gets ulted. Who cares? They're going to get the turret. All that instant burst damage from Coco and Shy, and that's an easy turret for Jynair. Well, it's so hard for Captain Jack to live oh, through CJ. that, especially through the challenging smite. He simply yeah. can't damage the Shivana in return, and he's taking a bunch of true damage. And Coco just shooting from the safety of his own tank line. Uh, Jack just, he doesn't have a QSS yet. He doesn't have a way to heal. No real life steal. He's got, what, 6% from his two Doran's Blades. But against that level of burst, there's no way you can efficiently counter engage after that. And Coco going. It's like for a Leandri's Torment next, just so that he can who continue to push people off the tower through that percent HP burn. It's going to be really annoying. Yeah, Shy, you know, 4,500 HP right now with 196 armor and 137 MR. No, like, like you do. Nobody's really going to be killing him. No. Anytime in the near future. Only uh, Olaf Dovakin has a, <laughs> a chance here. <laughs> but he's not in this game. We'll not. just we'll recruit Rain over from Europe. To, I was going to uh, say, yeah. Take down Shy. Not seeing it. <laughs> I feel oh, sick. poor Trace. Wow. And he has good sustain too with that war mod, so. Oh, and I guess it's Baron time. I guess it is, Doa. Mad Life gonna find a ping ward right there. Now Jin Air. Yep. Probably. Well, I mean, GBM's in base. There's really nothing they can do. Yep. Easy Baron for CJ. Going down rather slowly. Ambition taking a lot of damage, but he can just continue to tank that with his W for a while. And there we go. Baron taken by CJ Antis. 10,000 gold ahead now. Shy still hasn't taken any damage from Trace. It's so sad. Shy's a pretty good player at the League of Legends. Yes, he is. And he's been that way for a very <laughs> long time. Three years now for this guy. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, Shy's career. It's so nice to see CJ Antis at this level of strength again, though, considering the history of this team and how long they stuck with this roster to the point that it was causing a lot of questions, yeah. honestly. But they've managed to get it together. And whether this is a flash in the pan for this specific meta or not, we'll have to wait and find out. But uh, we'll they see. are looking so solid. Yep, there we go. Mid turret down. Mid inhibitor will be down soon as well, too. Captain Jack doing whatever he can, but that is not much. There it goes. Inhibitor and mid down. Baron minions still pushing ahead, and now they're just going to rotate to bottom. What can Jin Air do? There's just nothing. Nothing. Just been comprehensively outplayed in this series. Outplayed at every position. Yep. Yep, it is a complete dismantling at the very end for the Jin Air Green Wings. And they are left completely helpless as CJ pushes in. Oh, Ambition goes into Captain Jack. Gets moved. There we go. Shy. Dragons to set back in the back line space. Going up ahead. He's going to ult. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. It's the space jam, guys. <laughs> and Jin Air is going to slam jam their way to a match against SK Telecom to decide who goes to face GE in the finals. Only Trace and Captain Jack. Remain on the field, Chaser hiding in the fountain for dear life. And they're just going to watch as their base is destroyed, as their season ends. And CJ will take a dominating 3-0 victory over the Jyn Air Green Wings.
There it is, GG, CJ stays alive and moves on in the gauntlet. Wow, well that'll make for a very exciting match in a week's time between CJ Entis and SK Telecom, considering that both of these teams look like they are the top teams on this patch in this meta. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty amazing match between those two next week. I really can't wait for it, I mean, CJ just every time we see them play now looking like leaps and bounds better. And Mad Life again ending that game with a 100% kill contribution. Yeah. Huge over the course of this series in terms of his setups. Mad Life, I, I don't know what happened to him, but he's looking like he's in his old form again. And that is absolutely terrifying if you have to go against this CJ and his team. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Mad Life is back. And Janair, they started out so strong this season. They really had a good grasp of the meta. Great shot calling, great patience in their games, but ever since 5.5, they have yet to win a single game. So they have a lot to figure out over the